So today, the topic will be index and match formulas in Excel, a combination of these two formulas. And uh, it's a little bit advanced, but it's being used very popular for the advanced users in Excel. And it's a great alternative over the, the lookup functions like the VLOOKUP and the HLOOKUP. And in here, I'm going to show you the, in this video, I'm going to show you the index function on its own and then the match functions, the match function. And then we're going to combine the two to see how flexible this combination of formulas will be. Now, we're going to start, start right now with the index. So let's check the index and copy this um, plant location. Let's try it with the location. So I'm going to write the formula here, index uh, formula, and it requires now an array. So the array will be, we're checking now uh, the plant location, right? So we're going to choose the area where your plant location is uh, listed. So it's in here. But if you think your answer will be or can be found on this area, you can choose all of this uh, array all of this area but in the meantime we're gonna use this area and then comma and then now it requires a row number so it's a number you're gonna input a number here so let's just try uh, number three and then comma now it requires a column number but uh, notice that the column number is uh, with a square bracket and that means optional so we're going to stop here, just the row number, and press enter. Let's see the result. So the result is plan for. Why? Because your index formula is telling you that in your chosen area here, the third row position in that area will, will be plan for. Let's uh, see why, because the numbering will be like this. It's in the start of your array. It's one, two, three. That's why the third position in your area, the third row position in your area is equivalent to plan four. That's why it's plan four. But if your array is uh, like this, including the heading here, the return will be different. It's plan three. Why? Because the numbering is like that. Uh, we're gonna start here. One, two, three. It returns uh, a different result from the previous one. So, if you don't want to com confuse yourself, just limit it uh, where you want to count the specific result of your formula. So that's it. That's the index, and index function on its own without a column number. Now, uh, let's check if we put a number in a column number. It's still a number. If we try one, it's still the same. Why? Because your area, your formula is telling you that in this area, in your array, the third row position in the first column, it includes one column, right, is equivalent to plan four. One, two, three, it's in one column, the first column, and that is four. It is zero, zero. That could still be correct. Why? Because Excel realizes that it contains one column, it returns the first column. If it is negative one, that could be impossible because you cannot move here. This negative one is equal to here. So that is not possible. This two, that could be a reference. Why? Because you only have one column in your area. But if you extend your column, your array here, with another column that contains two column now it will return a value what value it's in here it's in the product because your formula is telling you that in your area where your answer can be found the third row position one two three in the second column one and two is equivalent to the shirt so that's it that's the index function on its own so check it again because it requires a number. You will input a row number and a column number. And in this part, we're going to automate it with a match function. So the match function will be used to return a certain row number and a column number based on your lookup values, as you can see here. So that will be our next step here. So check the 
match formula. But you can also use count formula or row formula or column formula that can be combined with the index. But for now, we're going to use the match formula. We'll take another example, the product. We're checking now the match formula on its own. I'm writing the formula here. Then the look of value. What's the look of value? That is the product, which is a specific product, pants. And then the lookup array is where your product can be found. It's in here, right? And now it's asking you to have a match type. If it is a uh, one, that means less than. If it's negative one, it's greater than. And that is equivalent. That are th Those are equivalent to approximate match. And if you want to have the exact match, uh, you're going to input zero. And we're going to use zero in here. Most of the time, the match formula is requiring you, your formula that you are creating is uh, pushing you to uh, look for the exact match. So we're going to use a uh, zero in here. And it returns a number in here. So check it. Why four? Because in your lookup value, which is located in this area, which is located in your lookup array, the value will be 4. It's in the fourth row. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why the answer is 4. So, uh, take note that the match function here with the lookup array can only accommodate a one straight column or one straight row. It cannot accommodate an array like this. That will be not applicable because the match function will be confused if uh, if uh, it's gonna count uh, downward or uh, sideward that's why it's only like this or like that a, a one-way row or one-way column in this case we use a one-way column in here and that's it now we're gonna combine the two it can return, we tested it, it can return a number, it can replace this part. So we're going to go to the main example here. Main example, um, we're going to uh, look for the plant location of your product. So write the index function, look for the array, it's in here, looking for the plant location. And then the row number, the second argument, we're going to use the match formula here match formula the lookup will be the product look up value lookup array will be here where your product can be found and we're looking for the exact match and that's it this uh, part is optional we have no other requirement uh, we can press enter so the the answer is plan three why because pants here, the product is located in plant 3. So that's the answer. So we're going to do the same with the revenue. And the revenue here is this one. The area will be here, right? Where, where your revenue can be found. The row number, we're going to replace it with a match function. It's the same. I'm going to use the product here. And this uh, one for the lookup array. Watch for the single uh, row or column here and an exact match, which is zero, and press enter. So that's it. Let's check it. It's the plant location three, plant three with this product, with this revenue. Now, if the, your user, your user is requiring you to have a changing requirement, changing a uh, cell here, for example, he or she wanted to see also the discount, the net profit, then this formula should also be updated from time to time. As you can see, it's reference to the revenue line. So, we're going to automate this by adding this part, the column number. Why? Because the requirement is either the discount, the revenue, or net profit, which is located here, right? This area. And as you can see, uh, a while ago, we used uh, this uh, movement going downward. Now we're going to move across your column. 
we're gonna add this in your index so let's fix the formula here let's check the array for your index the array is in the revenue we're gonna extend this we're gonna extend this to accommodate this part because that's where your answer can be found it's either a revenue discount or net profit the match here for the row number is still the same we're going to use this a changing cell in the product in the area of the product in the look of array in the product and then exact match now we're going to add this changing cell to suffice this formula the column number we're going to use the match again the match formula the look of value will be here the changing requirement of your user and then the lookup array will be like this. Notice it's a one-way row. Can it be like this? It should be like that. One straight. And we're looking for the exact match. And that's it. Press enter. That's it. We're gonna check it. The pants is in here. Plan 3 revenue. Let's check the discount. It's uh, the same, and the net profit, it's the same. That's correct. We change the uh, the product, let's say necklace. The net profit will be this, and the revenue will be, revenue will be this. So that's it. That's a very basic example of our index and match formula. So I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to let you uh, practice on your own and understand the logic behind this combination of these two formulas. And then I'm going to create another video with uh, a more challenging example and more ways to use this index and match. So uh, watch, out, watch out for that. In the meantime, uh, go and practice this index, index match function. And we're finished for the day. That's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe in my channel. I'm putting my subscription uh, button here. Just subscribe if you want. And that's it. See you next time and thanks.